the bunch of each other knocks down that bridge. Kids have been stuck inside for the past year and a half. Live Oak Lego Robotics is giving them something to look forward to every week. Well, my, old, my oldest son, Jackson, who's my co-coach, he was involved in robotics on a broader scale. And I knew that this would be something that kids would really be interested in. And I think it's a way for kids to get back to working with their hands and get off screens. The club makes sure to create an inclusive environment for all team members, no matter what their ideas entail. The great thing about LEGO Robotics and robotics in general, and especially with FIRST, is that it's all about inclusivity. Everybody's welcome. Everybody's ideas are welcome. Everybody shares. Everybody cooperates. And with our team, we've really, really made a point of focusing on it's not one person's idea. It's not one person's mode of thinking. And we all take from each other and we learn. One team member shares his early interest in building and collecting LEGOs and why it is so important to him. Yeah, because I've been building Legos ever since I was a little kid. Because my dad, that was also his hobby, collecting and building Legos. So it's kind of like a passed down thing from my dad, I guess you could say. And I was just really happy to be a part of this. Yeah. He also shares about the good memories it brings back for him. I, mean, I didn't always build stuff with my dad, but when I did, I enjoyed it a lot. And yes, it did remind me of one of the times I did it with him. For anyone interested in partaking or starting a club of their own, here's some more information on how to get building. Find somebody in this field. Find somebody with FIRST Robotics. Find somebody with FIRST LEGO League. Ask around. There's got to be somebody that you can talk to. Get it done. Find the grants. Find the sponsorships. There's always a way to get it done, but just take that first step and do it. For Canyons News, I'm Ryan Rivera.